Okay, let's talk about reading and writing binary files. So we already talked about uh, writing text files. So first I want to explain the difference between a text file and a binary file. So say for example, you want to write the number 2048 to a text file. Uh, what you actually do is when you write, you say, you know, objects output stream dot Printlin 2048, what it is going to actually do is it's going to first take the first number, the number 2, and uh, it's going to find the Unicode encoding for that number and it's going to write that uh, to the file. So remember, everything is bits in the file. So it's a question of what bits get written. So in a text file, the number 2. Uh, gets written as its Unicode value, and uh, you can look up if you go to the Wikipedia, you can find the Unicode table, and it's right here. You can see uh, these are all the characters, you know, it goes on and on forever. Uh, it's got 65,536 characters in the, you know, the first part of it, um, and uh, the number two is right here, and its encoding is three. 32 and that's 32 hexadecimal. So, uh, I want to run it. So, it's going to write uh, that number. So, when you write 2048 to a text file first, it's going to write 32 in hexadecimal, which is in binary, uh, you know, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8 zeros. Uh, and then eight zeros, uh, it's gonna be 16 bits. Uh, so sorry, um, we can do this <laughs> uh, the easy way. Uh, I'm just gonna look it up here. So 32 hexadecimal is, and you can see it right here. Uh, it's gonna be that number in binary. So zero 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 one one zero zero one zero. And that is so it's going to be four zeros, four zeros, zero uh, zero one one, and then zero uh, one zero. I get that right. So it's going to write that. That's the number two. Then it's going to write the number four, right? So I mean the number zero. So zero becomes what? Look that up, and it's hexadecimal. Now we look it up in the table, and the number zero is hexadecimal thirty three zero zero hexadecimal thirty, and uh, so thirty hex. Oops, right, clear that. Uh, thirty hexadecimal in binary is just you know, one one. Yeah. I'll talk about this nice Unicode here that tells me, you know, 30 hexadecimal is indeed zero in Unicode. So it's going to write that number next. Um, so 30, which is uh, that. Uh, and so, so, and then the four and the eight, this is similar. So that's a text file, and you see you're just writing this integer, and which is 2048, and it's ends up writing all these bits, right? So it's gonna write uh, these bits and these bits and then uh, two more of those. So you would you say, well, if I'm just writing this number, 2048, and I know that in you know, 2048, 2048, oops, 2048 uh, is, uh, it's just, you know, this is just one zero 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 in decimal. So I could just, why don't I just write this number uh, in binary? Zero, zero, four zeros, one, and like that. Why don't you, one, can I just write that number and be done with it? That's a lot smaller. And you can, but that is the binary format, right? Um, and that's what we're going to do now. So how do you write a binary file? You're going to need, uh, first you're going to need the file name. For, I'm going to call it out dot, you know, bin for binary. 
there are many binary extensions. And then you're going to need a file output dream. Notice that this is different from before with the text files. Uh, it's a different name. It's not the file name, it's file output stream, file output stream. And we pass it the file name. Forward, we're going to import that. And of course, this is going to um, raise some exceptions, a file not found exception. So I got to catch that. Right? So I got to put the, uh, the catch around that. And then I'm not done. I need an object output stream. So let me call this file output stream. And I call this this OS for object output stream or object stream. And uh, there you go, object output stream. And that one, I give it a file output stream. And again, I got to port the object output stream. You see, I have all these imports here. Import object output stream, file output stream. Uh, and uh, again, this one also throws an exception. So this one will throw an IO exception. Uh, well, this one might throw a file not found exception. So I gotta catch those if the file is not there or if there's some sort of error. Uh, this one throws an IO exception because there might be an error reading from the hard drive, right? The hard drive is broken or it times out or something like that. So, uh, so there we go. Now, finally, I can write. So I can use the write int and I can say I can I'm gonna write the number two thousand and forty eight and uh I'll go over here at the end and uh, print out done writing so we can see that I'm gonna run it and it says done writing and there's the out dot bin file binary file i can try to open it with the text editor and you see i get that which is you know garbage you can't really um, understand it and uh, the thing about binary files is that's the problem you can't you can only uh, open it with this you know you have to read them with your own software you can't open it with a text editor because it's not text it's not unicode encoded text it's just bits and you have to know that hey those three bits those bits i put there they're an integer the text editor does not know that so and similarly you can write an integer or you can write you know os dot write os dot write yeah, you can write bytes, character field, and you can write uh, UTF strings. So you can write strings in this way. This is the way the strings are encoded. Let's just write a double. 3.1415. There we go. So we wrote those two things. Now, let's read them. So to read them back in, so I just wrote them. They are written to the file. I can run it again. You know, it's just done writing, and uh, I can open it with the text editor. And uh, I'm gonna get that garbage again. Can't understand it. Oh, I do need to close it. I forgot about that. I always remember to close it because then, well, otherwise you might not, you might not write it. So to read it, uh, it's very similar. Instead of using file output stream and, and object output stream, you're going to use file input stream and object input stream. So there you go. So we're going to say file input stream, file in, file is is a new file input stream. And uh, it's the same file name. I want to read from the same file. So, and once again, command one, I gotta do the import. So do that for me, please. Command one, I guess around this with the try catch block, do that for me, please. There it is. And uh, then I, I say object input stream. 
uh, input stream is a new object input stream and file input stream and uh, again I need to import that and again I need to add another catch clause the IO exception and file not found exception in your programs of course you will fill this out and put appropriate error messages here but I'm not doing that um, for this demo so input stream dot uh, read and this is where you have to remember what you did right so first you wrote an integer then you wrote a double so that means that first I'm gonna read an integer this is gonna return an integer I'm gonna call it x and then I'm gonna read a double I is the read double and uh, done reading now done writing now reading and so we just read the x and I'm gonna print out the x and I read the d and I'm gonna print out the d and I probably uh, also close this so that's how you do it this is the key part you have to remember to do it do it in the reverse order right otherwise it's not gonna work you're gonna get garbage so I'm gonna run this and sure enough 2048 so it says now reading and I read the number right uh, let's see what happens if I if I mess that up and that put the uh, I read first the double then the integer I'll run that and uh, huh, I get garbage so you know it's not an error it's just garbage is really really bad because uh, it's not obvious that it's wrong well maybe in this case it might be but sometimes you can get numbers that look very similar to what you should be getting so uh, you have to be very very careful with binary files because right? you can't read them the only way you can read them is in the program and uh, so you basically have to write things you write an integer and a double then you have to read them in the same order i'm sorry i say in the reverse order in the same order you have to do it in the same order as you wrote it that's it